Okay guys, uh, I want to make a quick video. This is a 2007 Chevy Impala. Uh, I worked on this car a couple of times already and um, I had a huge problem with the power steering pump. Uh, this is a third power remanufacturer unit that I put in and uh, the problem was every time I put the pump in I fill everything up, I drain the air by you know moving the steering wheel left or right for I don't know how many times it would have a high pinch noise at the beginning the noise would go away at the idle but as soon as I revved the engine up around 1500 noise kept coming back and I just could never never drain the, the suck the air out of the system no matter what I did drove it around so this is the uh, this is the third pump this is like a two months later you know she just came back yesterday said that something has to be done the noise is horrendous and uh, I told her so I'm going to put a pump. I'm going to change the pump, but I'm not sure if I can, if I can do something about it. So, sure enough, I got the pump this morning. Same, same problem. It would whine right as soon as I get a 1500, and I just cannot get to that noise. Uh, it's like, like just, there's air trapped in a system. So uh, I was trying to come up with a solution how to how to bleed the system, and uh, I went to a couple auto parts. I was going to make a little adapter, you know, but they did not, no one had a cap that I can uh, make me adapter. Uh, they could order it for like 20 bucks, but no one had in the stock. So, so I came with a solution. I just uh, used this red cap. Uh, this is just the um, one that came with the, with the pump itself. It you know, keep the you know, dust from coming in. And uh, so I drilled a hole and put a little adapter in it. And uh, so what I what I use to bleed the pump is this vacuum uh, bleed the air is this vacuum pump. This is something I got on yard sale a year ago for like five bucks. And this is the old uh, medical vacuum pump that is a suction pump. Uh, back in the days before they had a central vacuum system, you know the doctors would use this pump for you know for the suction. And uh, this was, uh, I got that yard sale, and the lady was actually a vet. It was a kind of old vet clinic, and she was getting, getting rid of some stuff. So anyway, long story short, this worked. So uh, I'm going to take this off and uh, put this adapter in and uh, plug the hose in. Oops. Sorry about that. I, I pushed the adapter all the way down to the canister, so I got it out. So this is basically just uh, hook up your hose, and uh, now you have a you know one hose goes into the uh, uh, canister, the other one goes into the air pump. And we're gonna do start it up. And the back makes the vacuum. I also use this machine for the uh, the brake jobs as well. If I have to bleed the brakes, so. Uh, this is what I did. Now I would start the car and I would uh, let it run for like five minutes and I would move the wheels all the way to one side and another and I just keep running the pump until uh, all the air came out and now it's, uh, it's quiet. Not sure what I do. So I would have a car running with a suction applied to the canister and um, then I would turn the wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right and um, that did a trick. No, no more noise. The air is gone and it runs great. And um, uh, yeah, this uh, I've seen these pumps on eBay around 100 bucks. But if somebody, you know, this is really, it really works. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to order me a uh, cap for these VMs and then drill the hole and make nice adapters so that I can actually bleed the system if I'm going to have uh, problems in the future. That's it, no more noise. I wish I uh, filmed this before. I really didn't know if it was going to work or not. But uh, if I'm going to have another car, you know, I'll make it video from, uh, you know, to see, for you guys to see how it really, really works. But anyway, uh, at the idle it would be okay. As I said, I would move the wheel left and right to try to bleed the air. I did it over and over and over again. But the air was still trapped in a system. And as soon as I grab it 1500, the noise would come back. 
All right, it's been a week now and the um, car is fine, everything is okay. And as I said before, I was going to make me a doctor, so next time this happens, I don't have a, you know, so I can take care of it. And uh, so this is one that I made. I actually got this, uh, this is an oil cap for all Chevy trucks. And uh, I just drilled a hole through it and uh, put this plastic adapter so I can get my hose on it. And then uh, I think it would be okay. Uh, but then uh, later on I looked on Amazon and eBay and I've seen this little kit. This is an OEM bleeder kit. It's a 27311. Uh, and um, it has actually two adapters in it. Two cone adapters. And uh, so for this is $25 and uh, I think this will be fine. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to come across some car that this wouldn't fit, but uh, for the most part, for the most I think it will it'll be fine. But for like $25 sometimes it's not worth, you know, go to hassle and try to improvise something. But I, I have this one as well. I'll just keep it just, you know, I might, it might come handy someday. And as I said, I, I use this, um, this uh, pump. I know I've seen people using this pump as just a regular vacuum pump. My problem was I did not have a good seal on my on my reservoir, you know, with that little, little red cap that I had. And, uh, it, you know, with this pump, with this vacuum pump, it just wouldn't work. But anyway, this is the, um, you know, this is what I used. And the nice thing about this pump, I can actually control my vacuum by turning this knob. And, um, you know, you have a canister here. And I actually have a bigger canister if I, uh, if I want to maybe suck the fluid out of transmission or something like that. So this works, this works very well. And, um, but anyway, uh, I just want to, sh you know, share this with you guys. I mean, I really had a hard time and I, I never had a, this is the first time I really, really struggled to get the air out of the system. And you always, I don't know how many pumps I would install and all I had to do just to turn the wheel left and right, for, you, know, you know, four or five times. And, I would be able to bleed the air this time. It just did not happen. This, as I said, this is a third pump, and it wasn't even a pump that was a problem. It was just the trapped air that I could never get out of it. And now I have this kit that that should, uh, you know, in the future that should that should work fine. Okay, guys. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.